welcome to this episode of the Safe Safe Podcast. Do I look sweaty, Ian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is very special because I'm sweaty. You shouldn't have worked so hard on the tractor. Here, let me... Actually, now that you say that, it's like, I don't know why even just being on a tractor... I think that made it worse, Or maybe it was running up here panicked because... My mom called me this morning yelling at me to come yeah. and pick up the rest of the stuff with the tractor. She was like, there's something on it. I can't drive it. And I was like, oh, the chain link fence that Kevin and I <laughs> <laughs> tied to it last night. <laughs> to drag around. Drag around and smooth out the dirt. Yeah. Did it work? Does that it, work? It did, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh. I was riding on top of it for a little bit, too. That was fun. You know what I was thinking? So when I took it off this morning, I realized there was a piece of rebar wrapped around it. Like, if there was something in the dirt ah! and it was dragging, it like came up through the fence. It would, like would have skewered you yeah i was thinking about that too i was imagining if there was a bump and i fell yeah. behind it and then it ran me over yeah oh. like and then i got smoothed out into yeah. the dirt yeah <laughs> smooth brain yeah yeah how long do you think it would take to find you if you got smoothed out into the dirt depends on how many wood chips i put on top of it <laughs> <laughs> it was it's actually really hard driving the tractor and trying to like level the dirt out like, like a big to just field. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know how they do it unless they just have huge machines. Because it was like maybe a, a half an acre I was trying to flatten. Skill issue. I I think that partly I don't is, know. is it. But I <laughs> genuinely, I think it's really hard. Because you can only level within so much of... Dude, this chair is poking me so badly. <laughs> it was designed only for Kevin. It was designed for pain, actually. I feel like it's doing exactly what it should Unless be doing. Unless your hips are about 12 inches across or less, then I don't think you can fit in that chair comfortably. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, wait, dude, this chair, too? This chair is like, I have to sit leaned over on one oh, really? side because yeah. I can't fit we, both. We might have the same size ass. <laughs> yeah. You also have a bunch of stuff in your pockets. Like, they can't help. I didn't no, want to uh, outshine your chairs because mine was so good, so I replaced it with the off-the-shelf chair. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we bought those. Does it lean? Yeah. Wait, it's still leaning over to this side it's a little still, bit. Yeah, but it also has a cup holder, and it's... um. You know, it's a little less embarrassing for you guys to have to sit next to my chair. So I figured yeah. this kind of evens things out. We went to Big Lots to buy these. And they were, the tag on them was $90. And I was like, okay, that probably means they're like $45, right? That's how Big Lots works, right? We get up to the, the cash register. How much was that? And they were $90 each. What? Those little stupid chairs. I thought Big Lots, the whole That's idea right. yeah. was that yeah. it was like, like, oh, it's surplus. Like, it's yeah. are worthless now. It's Big Lots, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> Like a big lot of shit. Yeah. I, and so we paid. Are you telling me I'm sitting in yes. a ninety dollar chair? <laughs> yeah. And I can you I, le- can you lean back in this chair? I think it's it technically reclines, but only in a way that's suitable for like babies. Look, it, do you see how the <laughs> the footrest? I mean, you can't see this on the camera. The footrest is literally. Imagine not the world's on. worst footrest. It's flop. Oh, there now you can see it. Oh yeah. It's it's floppy. It looks like it's probably made out of cardboard. It is literally yeah. not attached to the metal bracket, and it, we paid ninety dollars for it. And you know, when you, have you ever done that? We go to the the cash register. You want to buy something? You're at checkout, and it's yeah. just like. And your mom doesn't let you buy it. Well, she said that you don't have enough money for the week. <laughs> and if you want Sloppy Joes and you can't get the action figure, yeah, I, I know. Was it a the Beast Wars action figure by any chance? Oh yeah, I, was, yeah. I never, I never could get the original colors for Dinobot, and then they did a a remake of it later with alternate colors, and I bought it because it was available. But I always felt bad that it wasn't like the original. Did you try painting it? And no, it worse. no, 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 no. <laughs> I only, I only <laughs> move so well anymore. Yeah. I only did that with Gundams, and okay. it always made them work because I didn't use real paint. I used Sharpies. Uh, uh, in the lines. It like kind of just... melts them or something, uh, like the it, solvent. It just, it would like they would, it would smear because also I'm left-handed. Mm, I don't gross. know what were we talking about. <laughs> I think tractors. Oh, oh wait, what, what were those like Lego? You know the cool Lego toys. Bionicle. Bionicle. I, I fucking nailed it just off you yeah. like cool Lego toys. And me trying to imagine, like, all right, me and Kevin are the same age. What would have been cool yeah, yeah. back then? It's Bionicle. It was Bionicle. They would, like, fold up into little balls and stuff like that. Yeah, because it was, like, it was Legos, but they were basically also, like, action figures. Mm, so it was, yeah. like, it was, like, the Legos that's not, like, real Legos. Yeah. It was, like, a bunch of custom uh, Lego pieces I don't just even to look like people. I know if you had to build them or if they just came you, as you like you do you do okay you do. yeah so it was still like on brand 
Uh, but I'm pretty sure that whole Bionicle line was like single-handedly responsible for saving the like Lego yeah, company. Yeah, I was gonna say really? that too. But like everything we talk about, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I read this probably on Reddit, and <laughs> now we're, I'm about to regurgitate it on a podcast. Well, look, our job is to just get people to Google things, not our to job actually is for, inform to get them. people to tell us that we're wrong. <laughs> actually, that's true. I'm gonna say that the Bionicle was the first toy to ever um, be taken off yeah. the shelves for. Um, being invented by Nazis. I don't know why I went there. I couldn't, I couldn't stop Alan. myself. It's yeah. Alan. We I figured it out. That's myself. how we keep going back. It's Alan. He's stop. infatuated with all the wrong parts of World they, War II. They were actually just made with pure BPA and oh, lead. And if you what? ever played with one, that explains all of the problems you're having today. Let me tell you, I was actually, I was actually really disappointed in myself because um, like I was, I, I was on a TV show a year ago, and I was trying to like figure out like fashion-wise what I should be like dressing more like an adult as. And so I saw this brand called Hugo Boss. I was like, oh, I like this Hugo Boss. It's Boss. really like slick, really like professional, very clean. And then I guess uh, that that's like sort of the brand that made like the Nazi uniforms. I think. Oh, oh really? Uh, what kind of car do you drive? Volkswagen. <laughs> Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn it, I really like how it looks, but I guess it looks kind of like, you know. <laughs> I, I, I feel like there's a pattern. <laughs> what, are you, what are you wearing now? <laughs> so oh, it's a Sailor Moon. I, <laughs> okay, well, thank God. Like, oh. Wait, well, no, Japan was also on the... Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> so that fancy, you want, like, trying to dress fancy didn't last for... No, I... <laughs> It just <laughs> trying to dress like an adult. It, yeah, trying to dress like an adult. <laughs> Somehow I ended up. Like... <laughs> well, the thing is, it is like Volkswagen in that it's like completely like separate from the historical kind of like baggage. Like people like you can go to the mall, go to Hugo Boss, and nobody cares. Yeah. It was just kind of this realization of like like oh, there's there's something about this look that the is axis. Um, it's the axis, right? Is that what it's yeah, called? yeah. yeah. How often do you go like and ask? people like on Twitter or Discord for like help solving a problem and then like, nobody wants to help you but then when you publish the video and there's like you didn't get the information you needed and you publish oh, it wrong and then everyone comes yelling the at time. you. Is, can we hear the landscaping? There's some yeah. serious landscaping think, going on right now Let me put dumpster. the mic I think we might just the, be yeah. sort of screwed. <laughs> We're literally in an industrial park right now. What do you expect? I, I, can't, I can't hear it. Oh, alright. Well, oh, good. Then just, if it is, it's very bad. I yeah. That's awesome. Well, okay. it kind of sounds like... You can hear mm, the weed whacker. Yeah, mm, if, you're, if mm. you want to really pretend like you're here with us, close your eyes and imagine that uh, a thousand weed whackers are on. <laughs> 10,000 weed whackers. 10,000 weed whackers are on just outside your thin-walled metal dumpster that we're actually in. It's a real dumpster. Did your parents make you do gardening when you were a kid? Like... Mowing the lawn. And uh, yeah, just snow mowing shoveling. The lawn. You have snow. I snow shoveled. Yeah, yeah. snow, snow shoveled. But I actually really enjoyed it. Really, I I would turn it into kind of like a weird like game, like a sexual thing, almost, but more <laughs> childlike. <laughs> Like I didn't know it at the time, but, right. but well. so I would always, I would always, um, like you know, change up my patterns of snow shoveling to get up and down mm. the driveway, and sort of like invent these kind of like different shapes and paths, and I would pretend that it was kind of like some kind of a video game challenge. This is like, like how I, was I knew you grew up it. either before or in the early days of the internet. Oh, is whether or not yeah. I like it tried was, to imagine snow shoveling yeah. was you're fun. Playing, the game you're playing is like Minesweeper with the snow Instead shovel. Instead of like mindlessly doing it as fast as you possibly could so you can go back on the internet, you yeah, like turned yeah. it into an exciting adventure. Uh, yeah, honestly someone should create like a phone mount so that you can like put a uh, phone on a shovel and watch TikTok while you're snow shoveling. That would be that's ideal. That's a good idea. And yeah. like every, like the to swipe is like the, you have to oh. scoop the snow to swipe, and that's what encourages you. You just like see you. a kid swiping empty air. <laughs> 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 yeah, they, <laughs> they realize the accelerometer is not smart enough, and so they're just watching TikTok on a shovel. <laughs> Just sitting there, kind of just like with the shovel on their leg, just kicking it. Mom and dad think they finally figured it out, and the kid just like freezes to death. <laughs> Dude, that that image is a metaphor for something. I don't know what yet, but it's definitely something. I feel just... like uh, 
it's like some VR, you know, where people like forget they're in VR, like a VR lifestyle. They're in a hospital oh, yeah, bed. Yeah. They're just like, they don't care about their real life. They're just stuck in the... In the... <laughs> you go to like get their VR drink on the table and then fall over. <laughs> you go to take your VR shit and fall on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 like, wearing, have you, like, you guys have played around with VR, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. And, like, it's ever, really cool. Do you get that feeling, though, where if you wear the headset for long enough, when you take it off, things still feel a little unreal? I get that after, like, if I wear a VR headset for more than, like, half an hour. If I wear a VR headset for more than half hour, I think I, I start to feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe, but I think it's overwhelmed by the kind of like just like the yeah motion sickness. Yeah. Or whatever. I've never had that happen. I can wear it like indefinitely, oh. and I'm fine. I don't know but if I, that's I, uh, I, Kevin I, has. A... I forget that I'm in it in the sense that like I forget where the boundaries are, and I'll run into things. <laughs> I wonder because I, I don't like the uh, I don't like the like this artificial mm. boundary that it projects on the screen. Oh, so I'll yeah, take yeah. that off and I'll just put like the floor boundary mm. on. But then I'm like looking up, running. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think is there is there like a major difference in the like tracking accuracy of the you have the Valve Index versus like the Quest Two that I have because the Quest Two is like optical plus. Yeah, like I think that. I've never played with the Quest 2, but the Valve Index is great. Because you've got it's really like, good. hard references. Like yeah, it's, it's electronic. got like the laser. Uh, yeah, whereas the oh. Quest oh. is just inertial plus um, optical, okay, which okay. probably is a little looser than like yeah. having tra hard you know reference points on the wall. Do you notice like drift at all? And Not like... really. It's it's really good, but I, I hmm. do think that like even just a subtle bit of wobbliness is oh, enough, is enough yeah. to throw you yeah. off. Uh, huh. I can I do pretty fine stationary or moving around. I do not understand how people play like Boneworks or any of the games where you can move with your joystick. Oh yeah, dude, that destroys <laughs> me. Mm. Yeah, can you do that? I I don't think I've ever tried those. I mean, I pretty much have just limited to like Beat Saber and uh, whatever porn is available. Mm. <laughs> I, I really like Pavlov. Beat, also Beat Saber <laughs> or just regular Beat. What are they? Because they're. <laughs> <laughs> there is Saber VR. I, I honestly have not. Saber beat. I have not actually tried VR porn, like but I do feel like I would. I, I think I would. I would. <laughs> the first I time I saw try. Valve Index, it was it was a, a friend, um, and they. I was like, oh, I want to use it, and so they like turn it on. You know, when like someone's oh, cell phone, they like open it up, and they had been watching porn. It's yeah, like there's playing. like the library that oh, has all the recently oh, played games right. in that in that building. First of all, if you're watching porn on your phone, like. And like, close it <laughs> when you're when you lock. Yeah, the like clean you lock, as you go. It's like right. putting your dirty dishes in the washer as yeah, you're doing yeah. dinner. Or like yeah. Boy Scouts going camping and <clears throat> cleaning up the campsite before they leave. You gotta finish the job. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to open Just... your phone again later and say, "Oh my God, what was I doing?" Yeah, you yeah. don't want that clarity to no, hit. You want to no. make sure that the evidence is all gone before you're a fully functioning human again. So he turns on the the index, right? And he like gives me the headset, and there's like clearly porn inside but it turns out that's what he wanted to show me so it was okay oh. <laughs> that was just a really smooth save on his part i guess he was like dude check this out <laughs> was it that that uh that cat sphinx character from the what was that no from? it was uh the, the incredible hulk and uh black widow that <laughs> i was black widow <laughs> <laughs> It's, it, wow, it's so realistic. <laughs> like a, it looks like a real zucchini. <laughs> Will, you played VR chat with me. Oh, yeah. VR chat's a riot. I love VR chat. What, like, so I, for VR chat versus like the metaverse. Yeah. Why is it that, like, like, because VR chat kind of just knows its shit, right? VR like, chat doesn't. It doesn't take itself try. seriously. Yeah. I, think. I think that like there's no corporate oversight and so you end up with a better product because way better. Like corporate like Facebook, I guess the metaverse would be afraid to let people do what they want. <laughs> and so then people don't want it. <laughs> For VR chat, people do what they want, which is disturbing and fun, and then people want it. <laughs> so I was I was honestly like like uh like when the meta uh a uh, uh, stock the stonk tanked like a few months ago, I was like thinking like, oh, maybe this is like a way to like get the dip, get in early. And I was like, I was like, well, I wonder like, what does the metaverse actually look like? Like maybe all this news. Oh, did is you just do like, it? No, I just, I looked up, I just found YouTube videos of streamers. Like reviewing. gameplay. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, this stock <laughs> is worth exactly what it's worth right now. <laughs> 
It's bad. It looks really shit. Have you been in the metaverse? Have you seen I, any, like, I feel footage like of people using no. it? I actually, am yeah, I curious, have. I have. but the only way I'd ever put any effort into doing it is if someone like gave me their headset to put on and mm. see the metaverse. Like, it's no, I, shit. I, it's... I, I looked it up and I saw like two images, like just thumbnails, and I'm like, wow, mm. okay. I, it's so like com- this is exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah. In all the clips I've seen of like VR chat, um, yeah, like it's just it's just like a it looks like it's a like, bizarre it's wacky, wild party it's all the time. Zany, yeah, it's but then like crazy. in the metaverse, like every they, you have to look like yourself. Like you've got your avatar and it's kind of tied to like your Facebook account. Yeah, and then everyone because they haven't fucking figured out legs for whatever reason, everyone is it's, just they're still like a me. <laughs> I like think, it's a bunch of floating uh, fucking torsos. Only if they had done legs, dude. Well, I'll tell you, you when well, you play VR chat, you can legs? tell. <laughs> they had an announcement that they had legs, but then <clears throat> after that announcement happened, they made it clear that it was only in some sections of the metaverse where they had figured they out. They don't have legs. to render anything else. <laughs> so in the main area where you first get into the metaverse, there are still no legs. This is this is what <laughs> happens when you give an engineer a job that they like focus too hard on yeah like a game game developers have figured out legs how many years ago did they do that <laughs> two decades ago a yeah, hundred uh, yeah this is like you give an engineer a job to like most efficiently drive a probably at least since rock'em sock and robots spend 10 years and invent the most complex <laughs> machine that doesn't actually solve the problem makes everything worse but it it does exactly what they were asked to do <laughs> when you play vr chat you can it says like this person has a quest and you know this is like this isn't compatible with them uh, so like if they have a character and they try to emote it says like they can't, they can't do it oh. or something <laughs> or it's like it, it, it always skeleton. takes them longer to like spawn into the world like they'll just be floating around as like a ghost for a little bit until their character loads in that's awesome and that's just that's like the default in the metaverse the art I, chat really feels like the, it's, it's furry light. Like, it's like the yes, but it's also like it feels like the early days of the internet. Yeah, where it's really just people unregulated, going, uh, totally unregulated. The government doesn't know it exists, and so they <laughs> like, haven't gotten in there to tell them to stop. So they have these fun murder mystery games where you can like one. It's like Among Us, but but, it's, but there's ch- a bunch of children, and I, you're also I a love adult. that Among Us is actually just like. But there's like, like everybody's the dressed up as Ricardo. Of like the murder mystery dinner party was yeah. just what yeah. Among Us was. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it is. It's more like that, right? It's like a nice mansion, and it's like a clue. <laughs> something like that so i was playing it and my mom was over and i'm like hey guys my mom wants to try to play a game she be wants nice. she's gonna play around please please be nice please keep and it easy were they as soon as my mom spawned in there's like a spider-man avatar and if he comes up to you and you you will somehow get stuck onto his crotch and then he starts air humping <laughs> and you're like you're there stuck on his crotch moving up and down and there's nothing you can do <laughs> <laughs> What's your mom you say to that? She got motion sickness. <laughs> <laughs> he was that fast. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. My chairs keep breaking. The I'm starting, to think, chairs I'm breaking. starting <laughs> to think the problem is me and not the chair. <laughs> I, I definitely understand the appeal of VR chat. There's something very fun about the like. You go into an environment, yeah, like almost like a masquerade party. Mm, That's why yeah, it kind of reminds. Yeah. It's like it is like furry light, but it's mm-hmm. it's not as yeah. Um, I would say uh, invested. Is there oh, okay. There is a lot of furries though. There probably are. Yeah, and anime girls. So you, you basically you're just you can make yourself look like a duck with buff arms. You can make yourself look like Spider Man. Oh, yeah, you we can were make yourself... we were like the the really buff geese. Yeah. <laughs> so people that like, can uh you can bring models in and then people can like take them yeah so you kind of end up with this almost like open source character we had like an army of geese running around at one point really buff geese is there is there sex is there sex probably probably someone's probably done something we were just in like we were in the bar with the uh with like the karaoke night thing oh i would say there's not sex in it okay i would say there might be like (laughs) like kind of unofficially but Generally, it's more like messing around. Yeah, okay. it almost feels like you're on the playground again as a kid. Yeah, okay. But you're so, an adult, and you're not you're not allowed to do that as an adult. But in VR chat, <laughs> you know, nobody knows who you are. And so yeah, can, about the same amount of sex as a, as a, a elementary playground. Well, sometimes you definitely like so, do, there are kids doing it, but they're doing it kind of in a back alley somewhere. Yeah, they do. It's like if you're in that that like one bar area, you know, with the microphone. There's yeah. like upstairs, there is a bed, and sometimes you do find people on the bed, and they're talking like this to each other. They're like, yeah. <laughs> That's they're like just kind of whispering to each other, and maybe See, there's a little like petting going on, but wait, it's like it's clipping through their body. Yes. Well, because you can. If 
if you go next yeah it's like to a them, proximity yeah. chat thing. it's really it's really atrocious because you can just get up into people's business <laughs> yeah. the and shit. they get you could go so mad at you you can go lay down on the bed with like, them hey guys what's going on because like they're they're laying down on the bed but they're actually like on the floor probably in yeah. their room and you can go like lay down next to them <laughs> You're like, hey Third guys. <laughs> party has entered the game. I don't know why the metaverse can't just do all that. I mean, that seems pretty straightforward. Mark, see, I think I think the problem is what Mark Zuckerberg wants is more of like, um, he saw he saw he played the Wii once and he's yeah. like, yep, this is it. This is <laughs> it's, it's kind of like it's kind of <laughs> like like a kid who's really into trains and he like wants the trains to work. It's like a very like focused obsession oh, on yeah. trains mm-hmm. and it's like trains. You can only use trains like this. It needs to work how it works in my head. It's like very literal, very straightforward, very kind of like rigid. And he like, I think generally they, the machine of Facebook, whether, I don't know how much of that would be Mark Zuckerberg and mm-hmm. how much is the employees. is like, we want this to work exactly like this. And that they're, they're making a product. They're trying to get people involved. I right. mean, VR chat is like the people saying, this is how we want it to work. And they're literally <laughs> yeah. making it. Like the players are what kind of make the game <clears throat> run. Yeah. And so it becomes what people actually want. It's like a self-building product. Hmm. And so I, I don't know. To me, it kind of feels like it's it's like, why is no one playing my game? I made it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and you're yeah. kind of like, okay, perfect in your eyes. Yeah. But I think that what people actually want is a shit show. <laughs> yeah. How how many hours a day do you think Mark Zuckerberg actually spends in his own metaverse alone? <laughs> I, I doubt it's many. With the 200 other employees he I forces you, to be in there. <laughs> I bet you he regularly logs into VR chat. <laughs> <laughs> just just sad a little bit jealous trying to figure out what makes it yeah. <laughs> why is it so much better <laughs> what do you think his avatar is why am I so horny all the time <laughs> maybe that's like what he's trying to he's trying to like counter that energy with his own yeah you know I mean I feel his like I, PR chat. I kind of can project myself a little bit onto it because like when I work on something like I will scope creep and try to like do all mm. the things and make it do all yeah. this and, that, and yeah. you realize yeah. like you know I've learned because you know making videos you mm. kind of have to you like get to face the music more frequently yeah it's like none of it matters mm-hmm. like literally none of it matters yeah it's honestly like the the almost kind of like the simpler the better i i yeah. I, I feel like it's almost like you have these sort of like two ends where the gap is sort of like widening where it's either you have like stuff made here or yeah. like you know yes. some mark rober stuff some like hacksmith stuff where it's like something that you, you just could never do, yeah. right? It yeah. took like a small team of people a year to like engineer this thing, or you just, you have Shane, yeah. he's losing his mind the whole time, I assume. Yeah. Um, and then you have the other end, which is like, what, like more like Alex, um, something like the stuff that you and Michael do, yeah. Um, yeah. where it's like, <clears throat> I put legs on a snake. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's like, it's like you have it's just, it's, it's just like stu- an easy, pro- this you know, really like dumb, understandable, immediately graspable idea yeah. that you like, you sort of like, like looking at it, you could probably feel like, oh, you know what? Like, I could probably do this. Mm-hmm. Like, this idiot put it in a, put it together in a garage in three days, even yeah. though yeah. like it actually took a month. Yeah. But like, it looks like it's something that like you could just kind of screw around I've and always do. kind of felt like that. Like, I've always noticed that, and that's how I've tried to like apply that concept to my video right just like, like keep Kevin shirt. simple right like yeah <laughs> objectively objectively is that a good shirt it's no. a little sus it's it a is little sus a great shirt it is everything <laughs> it needs to be. is it a good shirt no is it the best shirt ever i, I could disagree yeah. with that <laughs> does that make sense i got this made at the fair the <laughs> county fair so i printed i printed this image out and i said here can you make this did he how quick did he do it uh less than an hour he had wow. some people in front of me, and then. But I mean, like when he actually started, start to finish, like does he just like freehand it? He freehands it, yeah. Whoa. Right. Yep. That's wow. this guy. You know, this guy made Christine Aguilera's heartbreak shirt for her album, oh. and he paid, and she paid him a hundred thousand dollars to make like <gasps> twenty of those shirts for her to wear. Like That's on tour. Awesome. I want to make sure it's for Christina Aguilera. Yeah, how do we get there? And this cost twenty dollars. <laughs> nah. It comes from a good pedigree, though. Wow! Holy crap! You got like five thousand dollars worth of shirt for twenty bucks. I know. It's it's very good. How yeah. is the white done? Is that the shirt coming the, yeah. through? What? No, oh, no, no! I don't. Oh, like the the shiny yeah, the butt highlight. sheets. No, I think that's probably white. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, uh, holy shit! That's okay, some okay. like well. It's hard to tell. Huh. It's hard to tell, honestly. If it is the shirt coming through, that is truly actually Where you like actually amazing. like just I, goes I around actually, the edges. Yeah. Did he do black first or red first? Or did he it do black, like, red, black? 
to clean the edges. I'm out. starting to doubt this was freehand. <laughs> but but you how think else? He's got a, a stencil of a fucking red Among Us because it's this is exactly what I printed out. <laughs> I mean, if the guy's making these every day, he might actually be that. Yeah, good. I think he's been making them for like thirty years. Holy too. Could you, <laughs> Jesus Christ! He started out just being like a professional artist, and he would like they would fly him out to like Switzerland, and he would paint like. You know, like the like Alps a, on a restaurant or like France. A like paint Red like, Among Us on yeah, a Yeah, exactly. Red Among Us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the crucifixion of the Sus Among hey, Us. you gotta reach the kids nowadays, man. You the gotta do outreach. And then he's like, you know what? I like being in a carnival better. <laughs> Dude, he's... A, like a case study of VR chat. He likes the shit show. He does. And he's like, yeah, they, I mean, they pay for me to travel. I mean, like, and I just get to go around and... <laughs> mess around. Mess around. Yeah, eat corn dogs all day. Yeah. It's like that versus like a Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. And I think that that gap like is like widening. Yeah. <laughs> like I feel like like it's kind of like like if you're trying to do the amazing hard engineering thing, that's getting harder. Like the the bar for that is going higher and higher. Yeah. And almost like if you're trying to do something simple, that bar is getting lower and lower because it's almost like your idea can't be kind of too smart. It's almost like there's a force yeah. driving it to be dumber and dumber. Yeah. And there's not really space in the middle anymore no. for like kind of like a kind of a cool thing yeah. that maybe was like a little higher effort but not something that would take like you know a, a, a team of people in like a tormach and a laser cutter i was i was talking to someone the other day and i was getting like i was kind of expressing a little bit of concern i don't know i don't know how people like when they watch you know mark or or shane stuff made here stuff like i'm i'm a little worried because i gave mark some shit for this a long time ago of like you know, I feel if kids see all the like really smart stuff and they don't see too many of like the mistakes and bumps along the way, oh yeah, then they might think it's too hard. I I remember for you know, I mean, I still feel this way, but like programming was like unachievable to me because I had no idea how it worked. Yeah, it mm -hmm. seemed impossible. I felt like that for the longest. Time. It felt like it had to be you had to be a genius yeah. to do it because the no one at, at that point in my life would ever was... show that aspect of it or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or like if they do show it, it's like. I'm a <laughs> they're, they're a hacker. Yeah. You met Michael Reeves. <laughs> right. And like Michael Reeves has, is like absolutely mental in the yeah. worst way possible. And he can program. If Michael can do it, you can do it. Michael's like the definition of a, a what's it, a, a million monkeys or infinite monkeys, infinite oh, time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, he actually is really good. But that, I think in yeah. general, like that is programming. Is, yeah. is Nobody actually knows how to do it. Uh -huh. Why do you think Stack Overflow exists? Yeah. Yeah. And why do you think open source software exists? Yeah. Because it is literally just banging two rocks together until something happens. And then you're like, oh, that works. And then someone will say, they'll put a lock on and they'll say, never touch this again. Nobody knows how it works. The original guy died 40 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> like, actually. Yeah. Like, you know, the yeah. like the whole Doom. It was Doom, right? With the fast uh, inverse square root. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where it's like know. nobody knows who came up. It was like a they. I think they generally focused on the person who implemented it, but they still don't necessarily know if he found yeah. it somewhere it, else. It, or... it was like a like a like a novel mathematical solution to something that when like people looked at it closely, they're like, yeah. holy shit, this is like a new math. Like this is a yeah. new thing that is like that no one's ever done before. And it was used for a video game by some nameless programmer looking for yeah. like a way to like save like yeah. computation. It was basically a it was simple arithmetic. So like there's some stuff computers are really good at, especially really shitty, like dumb old computers mm -hmm. like Arduinos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they can do addition, they can do subtraction, they can do multiplication. Do you know what they're bad at? Square roots. They're really bad. <laughs> at square roots they're really I bad at division <laughs> you know like when you when you do division or you do anything uh on a computer like a microprocessor if you do everything by powers of two you can do division and multiplication insanely fast because all you do oh, is yeah. shift it's like mm, tens all you do is yeah. move the decimal right, point yeah, yeah, and so sense. you can shift your bits and do division by two and you can use that to really rapidly like hone in and then you do the more complex arithmetic mm. to do your division but square roots it's like it's it's literally just an algorithm it's like a bunch of cycles yeah it's a bunch yeah. of cycles and so what they did for i think it was for like um it was part of the optical system of like Shadows are like part of the tracing, right? Right, because Doom was like one of those first games that was first person, yeah, and you could move around in an environment, right? Like that. So instead of calculating one over square root of x, they basically estimated it with a constant, so they had a constant and they could do it with like multiplications and you know, simple oh, arithmetic, okay. and it was close and enough, and it was close enough, like a really good approximation, right. and so you could basically decrease your you know, compute time mm -hmm. in. Like by uh, oh, insane okay. amounts, and it didn't matter. Yeah, and it was like this, huh. this like like genius thing where it's like you wouldn't normally think that that would be a 
like an accurate way of modeling yeah. something more complicated yeah. and nobody knows who came up with it. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's, there's like a general, I think they have like a kind of a general idea of like, like who's working on yeah, that aspect been, of the I think, game. I think they might sort of know, but then it's like, they also don't really know like where it came from. I think mm -hmm. this that, is again, one of those things I watched a video. Of maybe <laughs> about on Reddit. I, I tried doing the same thing for a square root. Cause like when I learned, when I was learning how to use an Arduino, I was trying to make a motion control system mm -hmm. for cameras. I mean, I ended up doing it. I was going to do a Kickstarter and stuff before YouTube, but mm. um, you know, that's, that's a whole, I'm glad I never did that. Cause it's a whole uh, learning curve. <laughs> um, and I needed to do a square root for accelerations. And of course, instead of just doing like, you know, some sort of not mathematically perfect acceleration, mm -hmm. just doing something that's easy to calculate <laughs> yeah. or getting a bigger microprocessor, <laughs> which God forbid you get a better computer. Was the math library for Arduino just not fast enough for it's, what you're doing? It is. Yeah. So you have to, because it was like trying to get as many motors as possible on a, uh, on, you know, to do everything. Okay. And the right answer is probably to have multiple microprocessors yeah. Yeah. or one that's per motor. I, I learned or a long time like... ago that that was always the solution is just buy three more Arduinos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I was trying to do the same thing, and it's much harder to do with a, a square root than this. Mm. For whatever reason, the inverse square root was easy to, easier to approximate. Huh. I think the regular square root, the, the library did it more accurately. Because then you're probably like limited to like frames per second with. you can render or something like that. Yeah, because you have to like drive steps. Okay. Mm. Step remote. So I was doing stuff where I was like calculating two points, and then I was like interpolating between them to try to oh, like speed yeah. it up. Wasted a lot of time. <laughs> I, I play a lot of like emulator games, and I've noticed that they all have this option that says like fast math on yeah. or off. Yeah, and yeah. it always seems to run better if the fast math is on. And I'm like, well, f fast is better. Why doesn't everybody just use yeah. that? I think. <laughs> Why Actually, is it this I feel default? like I can probably answer this. So I I have a friend who uh, his name's George who helped with the Squid Game project who mm. had this sort of obsession with that Nintendo 64. He used to make like portables, like portable consoles. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the N64, what he always wanted to do was to take the all the components off of it um, and replace them with an FPGA. And it turns out oh, like that, actually model it. Yeah, so there are like FPGA. exactly. So you, there yeah, are like some like Super Nintendo or Game Boy. There are there are things that do this. The problem is N64. You can do everything except the uh, the graphical computing. You know, like I can't remember what it's called. It's like it's basically the graphics card. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think on the N64. It, it would require like a $3,000 developer desktop FPGA <laughs> okay. that's meant for developing ASICs, I think. And so it's like, it's not meant for consumer products. Mm -hmm. But long story short, the emulators, there's like one guy who has designed a lot of the algorithms for Nintendo 64 emulators. Okay. And the goal is to get the output of the actual chip, the input and output of the graphic chip to to get the emulator as close as yeah. possible to that. Like to see mm -hmm. the actual data stream. Yes. Like so there's things that forms. don't work on emulators. I'm not sure if this has been fixed or not. Like the, you know, Mario Kart, how you have the screen showing the screen. Oh, on yeah. The, uh, kind of classic race. Track. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you go through the tunnel, there's the TV. <clears throat> so like that was something that emulators really struggled to do. Huh. That the graphics chip, like that yeah. was a feature of the chip where the chip huh. could like take the frame or previous frame. I don't know what oh, it was. Oh, it had like, like a picture in right. picture like exactly hardware like, function on the board yes yeah and so there's In a the lot chip. of stuff that the board can do that then to emulate it you literally have to like you have to try to just write new code to match the function and so yeah. when they're saying fast math that probably is accomplishing the goal but not getting it close or as accurate to oh, what okay. the, i think rdp what the hell was it called right it's, it's, there's like that that old like jerry seinfeld joke i think where it's like uh, the he's like on an airplane. And they're like, oh, we're gonna make up some time by going faster. And he's like, why don't you just fly that speed all the time? <laughs> it's like, uh, I know, right? <laughs> why not just always drive 120 miles an hour? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because you're, you're painting it would be ten times as expensive. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's interesting though. Of like, like the they give you a fast math option, but people that want a more true experience for whatever reason would use yeah. the mm. the slow math. I've never really noticed anything wrong. Some games don't work. Some games just really just don't work mm. in general. That is because yeah. what the what they were doing. You know what, what was like like Atari or Steve uh, Steve Wise? There's some story of someone doing a like game design and they were like using different like fr uh, signals from the chip hmm. to make sounds. They were just like oh, poking around the chip. So instead of making a sound driver, they were literally, or like a frequency generator, they were just like sourcing frequencies. <laughs> 
from around the board. I think that's what they were doing. They're like, oh, this story. this like is yeah, using like a 500 hertz sound. square wave, yes. so we're just gonna use that for this sound. Really? I think so. That's awesome. I could be talking on my ass right now, but like I'm pretty sure they did that. The early early video game hardware stories are always fascinating to me because it's like they had such like strict limitations yeah. that you almost always would have to come up with like Cheats. something clever. Yeah. You have to cheat this like, yeah. thing. You have to you have to like utilize every single like bit available to you yeah. in some way or another. There's um, actually a guy that I'm I'm Facebook friends with now who has a YouTube channel who does I think he was like a developer on Crash Bandicoot and I've watched a ton of his oh, videos. Oh yeah, Crash oh, wow. Bandicoot is like a special yes. case because you, you watched his videos. I I might have. I don't know I otherwise why Hut, I would know any Game of this Hut, stuff. I think it is. Cuz the way cuz Crash Bandicoot in at the time was like one of the few games where you could kind of like move forward in this like 3D-ish looking environment. And like the only way that they could like render that was like playing a lot of tricks with what was actually kind of like shown. Like obviously, like there there wasn't yeah. really like an engine back in the day where you could like simulate a whole kind of course all at once. Yeah. And so it was like for Crash Bandicoot, like they were running things at the very edge. Huh. And I think they could only sort of like make sure that like just the frame in front of you was basically what was like rendered. And okay. then it was just like I, oh, I don't wow. know what, yeah. what the fuck I'm talking about, but it was basically like like they were able to produce graphically something that shouldn't have been. Yes, yeah. yes, by being very very clever about yeah. how they're allocating storage on that. I fucking think they still have tricks like that. I've seen yeah. videos of like, you know, if you're playing Halo or something and you're only looking in this direction, yeah. the game is literally only rendering yeah. this field of view. Because if you like mm. have some third party like some camera yeah, up here, it you. only shows like the map appearing where you're looking. Yeah, I, well, to I save think space. There, there's actually. I think some like uh, uh, research to indicate that um, your brain probably does something very similar in terms of like what it kind of like oh, internally yeah. models. I think that's why you're so good at uh, visual calculus. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like like uh, the early monkeys, it's just like their brain had to figure that out because it's like this is kind of like the ultimate constraint. Is <laughs> okay, like you, you have to work you're... off of the energy of a banana every day. <laughs> you start at you start at point A. And you need to get to point B, and between you at point A and point B is a mud pit. <laughs> the problem is mud pit is not there's not a direct perpendicular path between A and B, so you have to travel diagonally through the mud. Pit. Yeah. What path do people take? Oh, wait, are you are we talking about kind of like the the dogs doing calculus yeah. thing where it's well, like this is oh, like this okay, is sort of like your your analog calculus, like right? Because there's calculus. some there is some optimal path where yes. you walk along the edge. And yeah. then you turn into yes. the mud because you're much slower trekking But you the mud. don't go perpendicular in the mud. You actually want to go diagonal in the mud. But yeah. you don't want a straight line from A to B because that diagonal is too steep. So you end up with like two straight lines. I've always, actually, you know, I've <laughs> always wanted to try this out actually. And maybe it's like good for a short form because like, like I've heard that before. I've read it in books. But I've never seen that any actual data to support that dogs are able to do that kind of calculus. Well, I mean, they're really good at catching stuff. Well, yeah. yeah. So, like, the idea is that, like, like what I've read but never seen data for is that if you have that problem, if you are on a shore and there's a body of water and you have a dog okay. that can swim and you throw a ball out into the water, yeah. supposedly the dog will always calculate the optimal path of how long it should run across the shoreline before it jumps into yeah. the water oh, and get to okay. the ball. It'll never go straight to the yeah. ball, apparently. Well, unless your dog's really stupid. Well, the, well that's that's the, that's the assertion is that like no, dogs I... are kind of secretly smart yeah. in that kind of nature way where it's like, it's like they want to spend the least amount of time in the water yeah, or something yeah. like well, that. It's, or it's get, the, get to the ball as fast as possible. It's optimal speed. Yeah. Optimal yeah. speed. Which also is just, you know, by the reason nature would select for that is because that's optimal sort of effect for effort. Yeah. So the dog is like expending like only the number of calories it needs yeah. to catch what is, you know, the ball is obviously a standing for like a prey. But yeah. like... <laughs> I, so for biology... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, when you when you see like the dog toys with the squeakers, it's like, why do the dogs love that? Right. It's because the squeaking sound is the sound of dying little animals. It's like yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. brain have you ever heard a rabbit? Yeah. That's something. like the exact noise a rabbit makes yeah. when it gets snatched up by a hawk. When they're screaming to death. Yeah. <laughs> like that the is... dog's like, yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Dude, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tear you apart. <laughs> Can you imagine if there was like a, a like a, a toy for an animal where the animal just is really into please, like... Please, yeah, I know, animal death sounds. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. really, like it's into like people death sounds. Like, ah, 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 like every time it squeezes into the toy the toy goes oh god no please <laughs> I love that like humans like a, they like, like love to crying 
people people love to watch suffering you know like uh-huh. like the coliseum or like murder oh, yeah people love to see yes. other people suffering but they don't want to actually cause the suffering themselves yeah How, what is yeah. that phenomenon where it's like you don't want to be the dog <laughs> carrying the rabbit apart but you also no, they are going to watch they, they it. I <laughs> honestly think it's there's some caveman shit I have I had to guess because it's like you have to like you, there there has to be some kind of drive for like enjoying killing something because there's just a lot of good mm. protein there. there's a lot of good resources like if you're going to have a, a big brain a galaxy brain like yes. you can't just kind of eat vegetables. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank Unless you, you're like a, the you murderers know, on the, Patreon. The galaxy well, you, brain tier. <laughs> that's what gorillas do, but they maxed out their like attack stat. Right, right, right. <laughs> Somehow, and, and so it's like, like you. I think there does have to be some kind of pressure to want to kill something and eat it. But then maybe sort of like when you've got sort of a social tribe, then it's like maybe it's like most most of the monkeys are just like supportive of that. But then few, much fewer of them are actually like really enjoying doing the killing. Is it weird that your entire life is just sort of dictated by these kind of evolutionary desires meant to keep you alive? And so, like, the things that you do for fun that you enjoy doing, you're only doing because at some point long ago that maybe that helped. That, uh, yeah, that there, was, there was, like, a now, slight statistical yeah. uh, uh, So, it's like, you don't game. actually like playing games you like achieving goals achieving goals yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That what, like a game is a way of tricking your brain into thinking it's achieved i think that's goals. exactly like, what yeah. it is that's but exactly there's not a lot of is. goals to achieve nowadays i mean back then you could you, you, could, you got to you explore. Invent you, can't you could invent, invent anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, why do you think yeah. Minecraft is like the <laughs> biggest video game ever? Because it's literally just like what a dude, caveman, caveman, caveman brain. had to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. It's like directly matrixed into yeah. that caveman <laughs> brain port in your brain. I think we figured out how to make a bunch of money. Somehow exploit the like yeah. natural <laughs> phenomenon in people's heads that drive them to survive that don't really apply nowadays. And or that you're not allowed to do. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, some kind of a mating simulator. Well, um, ooh, so you have to okay. c- uh, collect and uh, create as many off spring as possible. We get two lenses yeah. and two screens. <laughs> and then we get a rubber band and we strap the lenses and screens to someone's head. Yeah, yeah. And then we 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 put images of mating. Of mating. <laughs> yeah. But and then we call what if there's it like the a, some kind of currency that you needed verse the, like a like you know a you needed to collect resources a mating mega, like ritual. Um ma- the metaverse? Sex verse. Ma- <laughs> Mate, sex, no, sex that's too averse. straightforward. Mating, uh, mating mm. verse. That sounds like porn. Oh, so this is it's not porn. What we're talking oh, about? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, porn. Okay. No, 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 no. Ours is, is tasteful. Ours is this is purely it's only for procreative. exploiting people's brains. <laughs> Only procreative. No, um, oh, I'm not gonna procreate. make those jokes. Procreate. Oh yeah, we'll call procreate. <laughs> Lots of people yeah, download yeah. that app if it's called procreate. <laughs> That's a nice name. Copyright infringement. Yeah. So they're like, do we want to even <laughs> make a queer t- Yeah, t- you t- want to <laughs> do the Barbra Streisand effect? Like, come on, procreate. We fucking dare you. Take us down. Have you, have you read about the actual, what the Barbra Streisand effect is and the origin of it? It was her, like, summer home or something, right? So it was, like, early, early internet, before Google Maps, there was a website, like, I don't know who was doing this, whether it was for fun or a company, okay. where they were flying, I think, down the California coast in a helicopter, capturing the entire coastline mm-hmm. with photographs and so you could like oh. click through and basically look at the entire coastline and they she sued or her estate or lawyers or whatever mm-hmm. sued to have those images of her house either take probably taken down at mm-hmm. that point it would have been like oh you're showing my private residence right yeah. but at yeah. that point it was almost like it was just like nobody really cared it would like, have been like a tab nobody would have yeah. even yeah. known yeah. that like, this was like, her house right that yeah. the, like there was there was a risk of doxing or something but right. it wasn't widely kind of known right yet. it was like you're showing my house and I don't know if it had like a factoid of oh this is Barbara Streisand's house or something like mm-hmm. that but but they sued, and then this, the Streisand effect came from mm. because something they were worried about, like people, you know, seeing or whatever. Yeah, now every- got blown out, and everybody yeah. saw. So it. like the efforts of them to take it down made it like ten times more yeah. visible than it ever yeah. would have been if they actually left it alone. Yeah, and that's why I think like Google Maps when people blur their house is so funny because the instant <laughs> someone blurs their house, like then it becomes like, oh, okay, well this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, what, I wonder what they're hiding. <laughs> it like brings attention to it, right? Yeah, so, like you know if you're like you know trying to 
let's say you're, you know you Jesus Christ you're stalking a YouTuber uh, and you like you the couldn't only... come up with any other example. <laughs> well, that's the relatable that... <laughs> one. And you find a house on Google Maps and it's blurred. You're like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's you know whatever. It's never been it's never been bad though. Like when people if people do, it's just. Yeah, and compared it? to like some of like like the really big like streamers yeah. or like like those horror stories, like yeah, like people showing up with guns and shit, like yeah, I just don't answer the door, or, or <laughs> just generally somebody else mm -hmm. answer the door. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Because it's just like you can tell, and it's like you know, you heard that right? It's yeah, like moved yeah, back this, there. This, this moved. <laughs> settling i honestly would not be able to tell at one point if like there was actually an animal living back here or not can we just get some rats for one episode and let them go it's right there <laughs> pika, pika. we wanted to do the raccoon i thought that'd be fun then i realized how how bad of an idea that would be oh yeah because i think you would it would actually hide really well mm -hmm. in here i think it would no just way, be in its natural they environment. never stop moving they're like always oh, on, the, be, on the move would destroy this place yeah by the end of the <laughs> yeah. episode everything would be destroyed all the trash would be floor level it would level everything it would probably knock would get, over all the lights yeah, chew would, through the camera yeah, cords. it would get bored it would definitely the raccoon would go up on yeah the, all those buttons it would yeah. mash all those shiny little buttons <laughs> no there it's I, I thought it'd be fun to have a raccoon kind of sitting in a chair eating grapes the whole time uh-uh after they watching that video uh-uh because uh -uh, <laughs> the grapes really only last like a few minutes of raccoon <laughs> yep. attention and then after that it's done yep because yep. it will get full. It will get full, and then <laughs> yeah. the only thing it knows, the only thing that gives it satisfaction is completing tasks. And <laughs> yeah. Its tasks are destroying everything around it. Has anyone ever tried making video games for animals? I showed you the video. I sent you the one that I found of the dog uh, and the TV, where there's like oh, a, yeah, a scene yeah, yeah. where like this guy holds oh, yeah. the food down yeah. below the table, and the dog in the living room, like looking at the TV, comes over and tries to like so the, begging. the dog definitely like there's a potential for like the dog has an understanding yeah. of what's happening on the screen. You would just you, need to wait for the dog. Not to all enter dogs. Input. Yes, some that dogs the have dog no idea what's going have on. Have you seen the cats playing like the fish games? Oh yeah, on like yeah. a phone yeah, or a tablet. Like a tablet. Yeah, I think. But do they? I, I don't know how you would, because dogs play catch, and that's kind of like a game for them, right? Like they yeah, know the yeah, cycle. Yes. They like digging and, and yeah. finding and things. I mean, that's essentially the same principle where it's like the the dog has like a reward circuit in its brain for chasing and catching something. Because you're not giving it treats or anything in yeah, exchange. Yeah, the, the fun is the enjoyment is in the actual yeah. like action because however long ago there was a fucking wolf that liked running after rabbits more yeah. than another wolf and so it had more kids and then it learns to come to you with the ball so that the action can occur so it can and continue. Can. so it's like the game yeah. is chasing the ball but then the like intelligence is learning how to get the cycle to sort of they, they also like getting chased i don't know yeah. what that's about but oh that's played that so i think i think that one's like animal psychologist alan pan all of this is coming completely <laughs> out my fucking anus well if okay. you come along can do it i'm sure yeah. you can do it too <laughs> well fill it up i think i think like most like uh predator animal animals that are predators tend to have more play behavior than animals that are prey because the play behavior is exercising the circuits and the muscles that would be involved in catching. Yeah, them. it's like training that. Circuit. Like when when you see kittens like wrestling each other. Yeah. Like well, yeah, that, that is that. enjoyment for them because it is like. <laughs> <laughs> haven't we all? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like you know that, that's that's them essentially like like they don't know they they don't have a concept of practice or training yeah. but that's how they naturally get it is because they have fun and they have that yeah. play behavior and that's different from like. You know, uh, uh, like rabbits don't really play as much at like baby rabbits don't like play with each other. Oh yeah, in the same don't... way that like baby dogs would. That makes sense. I feel like everyone time like people talk about AI, they sort of just assume. I think it's you like just a get your on computer honorary program. PhD in animal psychology now. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. If, <laughs> if the, the uh, National Geographic Animal Planet wants to give me an honorary, where they're the ones that give out PhDs. I don't think so. They're probably not universities, huh? <laughs> Oh, uh, if anyone out there wants to just give mail me an mail him something, PhD. give me some a PhD. <laughs> you, can we, yeah, do we have a PO box for safety third? We do, right? We can just use mine, I guess. Okay, can put can, it right up here on the wall. Yeah, can someone mail mail us honorary PhDs for animal psychology? <laughs> Okay. I'll tell you about some games my dogs like to play. Okay. So we get like a muffin tin, like you would bake muffins in, uh -huh, yeah. and we put treats in all the little you know muffin trays, and then we put tennis balls on top of them. So, so they have to like move the tennis balls yeah. out of the way and eat the food underneath. Yeah. Oh, or, so it's like kind of like a like a digging searching yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, and we get okay, like, a, okay. like a cardboard box and we fill it up with like paper towel tubes and, and toilet paper tubes like vertically. So they have to like 
dig in there and rip all the things out to oh. get oh, the little that's okay. fun. Yeah. That's Send fun. Alan a crazy for that. PhD, P.O. Box 7173, Ventura, California, 93006. Uh, it made me think though that like you know everyone thinks like neural networks is like a single program that mm -hmm. does everything but i feel like do you know like do you think about how you see like do you think about how you smell do you think about you know how to cross the, the river optimally like right some right, of it right. just kind of like yeah it works it just sort of works you yeah. don't have to think too hard about it and there's parts of you like you know like talking or like being more kind of cohesive yeah with verbalization that requires yeah. thinking um, 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 yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. when you're looking around at stuff, your eyes aren't going, um, 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 I mean, sometimes they stroke out, but <laughs> like, is that, what am I looking at? Oh yeah. Is it a blue dress or a gold dress? I mean, it's when you, when you sort of like look into it, uh, like, like, you know, I, I've been reading some books on like, just generally sort of like storytelling or like, um, like contagious is one that like, um, is really good for thinking about how things sort of like get shared. Um, and like. A common theme that's like in a lot of them is sort of like um like how little attention you actually sort of have visually and so i think the way that uh, i saw it described before was um if you like hold out uh your your hand and you look at your thumbnail uh that thumbnail is the actual size of full attention you have yeah. visually and sort of like everything oh, yeah. outside of that is actually it's, it's, it's essentially filled in like your brain does an incredible amount of like post-processing you actually are giving it about this much information and everything else it kind of fills in contextually yeah. and like from pre-knowledge and that's like why a lot of optical illusions work it's like an ai up oh reser. yeah 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 so like optical illusions are literally like uh what do they call it? like the ai antagonist like antagonistic yeah. design where it's like huh. you can trick um, an AI into like misperceiving something. That's literally what's happening when you've got an optical illusion where it's like, oh, these lines aren't parallel anymore. It's because your brain oh, is okay. doing post processing and it doesn't work in that very specific. It's like the panorama context. where the person's moving through. It's it, like just like uh. <laughs> it's like if you hold your hand out here, how many fingers do you have? Is it like seven fingers? Like the AI will will think you have because you can't really count. Oh yeah, and so, and so like that that is part you of like you just like see kind of like a hand yeah, with so, the fingers. Yeah, so your brain knows because you you know you you, you don't yeah. have that sort of like like contextless not uh, or knowledgeless information like the an AI model would. Like okay. you yeah. know that a hand has five fingers. All right, look yeah. straight ahead. Don't look at my hand. Can you okay. see my hand? Well, I'm I'm gonna say I can see your I can see your hand. Yes. What am I doing with my hand? Uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm focusing on my finger here. I it looks like you're holding out your fingers. Okay, now what am I doing? It looks like you're moving it around. Now hold out. Which one was easier to figure out? Oh, uh, the movement. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Why? Why is it so easy to pick up movement? Uh, because if you're a caveman and uh, something is moving on your peripheral, that's something that you should pay more attention Grog, to. <laughs> it is literally easier to perceive movement than it is to yeah. perceive color. Well, because Grog is gonna come sneak up on you yeah. and bonk you on the head. But like, is that your <laughs> eyes or is that your brain? That's your uh, brain. It's probably your brain, right? Yeah, it's, yeah I, I think it's a whole mess of things, but yeah, probably it's a lot of brain but like movement stuff. is basically like free. It's literally free. Like you don't have to try at oh, all. Oh, yeah, in terms movement. of like yeah, so of like 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 the movement itself, your brain can pick up on easily because it's literally like oh like yeah. these signals from the retina are it's just changing. like a specific I see like a specific yeah, chip yeah, in your right, brain right, dedicated yeah. to detecting movement. Yeah. yeah, and you're just like oh there's movement and it tells you exactly where it is and you don't have to think about it. You well, don't have to. Focus. In your eye, you have and like two works, types. It works like over here. Like I can't tell you how many fingers are being held up, but I can tell you that they're yeah. coming in and out and moving. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so sensitive. It is super sensitive because that's why if you look at like you can't see the Andromeda galaxy kind of directly, but if you look up to the side, you can see it. Yeah. Same thing with like flickering Christmas lights. Mm. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, you can like, like the LED flicker. It's you, more what? It's more, more sensitive. Rods or if you something? look at it in like your peripheral vision, yeah. you can see the lights flickering on and off a little I bit. I think that that's like a rods and cone thing, right? Where you N don't have. No, I think that just because your peripheral vision is more sensitive to movement. But I think it's because it's, it runs at a higher it's frequency. Rods because they don't take color data and so they can i think they're faster we need a we need an eye doctor if you look show. like <laughs> you have two different types you might look at my screen protect like in the up center like of your vision the what the fuck is this i like sat on it on the chair and it, it like it's like gummy huh. oh oh you you missed your chance of making a very satisfying short of uh -oh. peeling that off you just have a really high density of cells in the like very <laughs> center of your eye and then it yeah. like but th there's like more cones i think see rods I, don't so, know. I mean, basically. Also, did you know you see, if you're like if it's nighttime out, like moonlight, mm -hmm. you're actually seeing in black and white. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the color sensitivity versus yeah. like the lighting sensitivity in low light, um, like the the. I mean, the rods and codes thing. Like, one of them takes over the other in yeah. terms of, like, what's more important. I never visually. thought about that, but you're literally seeing in black and white, but you don't really yes. notice that. your brain's mm. filling it in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's... that's the, you just... To, to quote the gorillas... Yeah. You, you see... You There's don't not see with data your eyes, you see color. with your mind, which is actually 100% true. <laughs> like, it's, it's like every... Like, like, the fact that it's like, you know, you, you think you see color. Right? There's yeah. green, there's black, there's white. There's it's like it's like color does not exist materially. It doesn't exist outside of anybody's head because what we perceive as color is just different wavelengths of light. It's a social construct. Well yeah, color is <laughs> physically just different wavelengths of light. Yeah. There's no there's no such thing as color in the like material universe. Like color is literally just perception. You look at something, you think it's green. It's what it too really early means for this. is that it's emitting or absorbing certain wavelengths of light in a very narrow band of the yeah. electromagnetic spectrum. Yeah. There's no such thing as color, especially the color pink. If you look into that, pink really actually doesn't exist. The yes. University of Arizona I've, says I've read that, that I've read it before. <laughs> so cones... Me too. I couldn't tell you why, but I can tell you the, 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 the headline I saw to, to a yeah, link that's to it. an article that I didn't click on. I read some comments. <laughs> so this is like... Rods are for uh, grayscale, so low light. Mm -hmm. Cones are for color, but this says that um, cones, cone-driven light response is anywhere for, from five to ten times faster than rod-driven light responses. So then, how come, how come the corner, how come your peripheral vision, you can see faster movement? It it's might also, scale, right? it might also be like there might it's it like, might be because it's a brain thing. It oh, might be a brain thing, yeah. or it might even be literally like a distribution on the retina thing. Uh, so then rods are probably slower oh because it's like you have a high density of pixels in the center that's a slower refresh rate yeah. and then you have a low density so it can read that out really fast maybe yeah yeah or your brain you know? brains, i feel like yeah i feel like this might be one of those things where there's just a lot of things lot, you would yeah. think that the more sensitive one would be faster but i guess not yeah, I don't know. We need we need to because talk to a or not an eye a brain and eye doctor. We need to talk to a, a person. Who, we to need a, we need to talk to a <laughs> neurologist. <laughs> yeah, a god, a psychologist. We, if you are God and you listen to this podcast, no, God, wait, God, when you listen to this yeah, podcast, yeah, he's always listening. No, that's Santa. Shit. Oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> dear God, are you listening? Well, isn't that it's a, us? Safety third. <laughs> <laughs> this is the title of the podcast, Dear God, are you listening? Dear, dear God, it's me, Safety Third. <laughs> is the algorithm restricting videos with God in the title? I don't think so. Think so? Yahweh. Okay. Well, yeah, think, Yahweh. More than it does in 69. Thank, ah! you, thank you, everyone, for enjoying this episode of the podcast. How bold of me. <laughs> yeah, very presumptuous. Also, thank you for not enjoying the podcast. I, I hope that your task you completion circuit in your brain has rewarded you by finishing this episode. We hope your peripheral vision always remains sensitive to movement. Yes. Uh, right now, if you haven't already, write a uh, write a, a task of uh, listen to Safety Third Podcast with a little box next to it and go ahead and check that off now. Yeah. You already finished one thing on your to-do list for today. That's 100 out of 100. Do we want people to send this stuff, or do we want if we do we if we open stuff, we that just for Patreon? I'm trying to think of the PO box. I think that we gave would, the yeah, yeah, send us stuff. Really smart. Wait, I do. I want we, an honorary we, degree. We can't open stuff on an episode. Is that weird? Well, we already did with the Heimlich thing, but we could make it a safety third uh, Patreon exclusive thing. Okay. I'm just worried that like if because the problem is when you get stuff sent, like some of it, it's just kind of like you just sort of sit and open it for a while. I'm not sure that would make great. Content we could just go it. buck wild on it. Go buck wild. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It feels like one of those sort of filler episodes of a cartoon. Well, maybe movie. maybe we like we open it. We do the opening off camera, and then instead of like first reactions, we do like a ranking of like we show our right, favorites. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, this one was from Bethany. Five hundred dollars in in hundred dollar bills. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that that makes it a little more of like uh, content and less like just us <laughs> opening boxes. Okay. Okay. Maybe something like that. All right, if you want to send us some crap, we gave you the P.O. box. <laughs> Why do all the chairs I sit in slowly degrade over we, the course we, of an hour? My back this. hurts. All right, thank you to everybody <laughs> on Patreon who supports us. We've got two tiers. One of them gets you access one to the extra and content tier. and <laughs> all exclusive content and early content and the full-length content the uh, and the Discord server. And the other one gets you the, all of that plus a signed Polaroid every three months. So thank you to everybody who supports us. Your names have 
probably already been on the screen. They're probably long gone. Oh man. Or maybe it's happening now. I don't know. Uh, um, do you want to do something to one here, of me... them? Oh look, one of the names is got it fell off on the floor. I'm gonna pick one of them out. I'm gonna put gloves on. I'm gonna pick this name out, and I'm gonna put it in Alan's butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? gonna fart it out in the next episode. Hopefully these come out Watch chronologically. It <laughs> and it's gonna be stuck in your yeah. butt for Oh years. no! <laughs> Someone's gonna pay extra That's for right. that. Your name gets shoved up Alan's butt for a year. A really an extra dollar. Like, yeah, you, you, it happens on screen and then you don't see your name on the screen for a year, but that's what you're paying Ooh, how for. How about for every month that we forget about it, we charge you an extra dollar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not living in my butt rent free. <laughs> Also, we got 63rd merch, a very nice t-shirt. <laughs> it's discharge printed, so it's completely that's integrated nice. into the shirt. Right no that. no nasty big... Feel, feel this shirt. Oh, yeah, that's great, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. this really one was air, air brush it's, printed. It's like plasticky. It's plasticky kind of feeling. Oh, yeah. And then this shirt. That's no, fine. This shirt, this feels, this this shirt, this shirt yeah. feels good. This is a nice shirt. All right, thank yeah. you, guys. See you next time.